Good day, everyone. Today, let us review and assess your learnings in work, energy, and power. Please be reminded of the following directions. Are you ready to take the quiz? So let's get started. Round one. So let us analyze this first question. Olivia carries a heavy box quickly up a flight of stairs. A boy named Christopher carries the same box with the same weight slowly up the flight of stairs. Which statement is true? Letter A, Olivia did less work than Christopher. Letter B, Olivia did more work. Letter C, Olivia has less power than Christopher. While letter D, Olivia has more power than Christopher. The right answer is letter D. Olivia has more power than Christopher. So please remember that power is the time rate of doing work or delivering energy. However, Olivia and Christopher did the same amount of work. So this is question number two. The work energy theorem states that the energy gained by a system and the work done on the system are blank. Letter A, equal. Letter B, not equal. Letter C, less than input work. Letter D, greater than input work. So the right answer is letter A, equal. Okay, so let us proceed with question number three. Work is done on the following situation, except letter A, Rachel is holding a tray. Letter B, Richard is closing the door. Letter C, Sam is pulling a cart. Letter D, Lori is climbing a flight of stairs. Okay, select the best answer. So the right answer is letter A. Rachel is holding a tray. So work in physics um, is a measure of energy transfer that occurs when an object is moved over a distance by external force. Okay, question number four. What happens to the body in which work is done? Letter A. It loses energy. Letter B, it gains energy. Letter C, no change in the energy. Letter D, first it loses, then it gains. Select the best answer. Okay, so the right answer is letter B, it gains energy. Question number five. Which statement is true about the power rating of machines? So letter A, the amount of fuel required to make the machine function. Letter B, the total amount of work done by the machine. And the letter C, the amount of energy consumed per unit time. Letter D, none of the above. Okay, so let's check. The right answer is letter C, the amount of energy consumed per unit time. Okay, last question for round one. Question number six. If an object has kinetic energy, it must also have letter A, speed, letter B, acceleration, letter C, force, letter D, impulse. Okay, so the right answer is letter A, speed. Okay, round two. Select true or false. But before we proceed, let us recall that work is defined as the dot product of force and the displacement. It gives an object. And energy is given the definition as the ability to do work and lastly 
let us recall that power is described as the rate of doing work. Okay, so question number one. Kinetic energy is a vector quantity. Is that true or false? The right answer is let is false. Kinetic energy is actually a scalar quantity. Okay, question number two. Doing the same amount of work in less time requires a greater power output. Okay, so the right answer is true. Okay, so uh, last question for round two. A force acting perpendicular to an object's displacement does negative work. Is that true or false? The answer is false. Okay. Since you stay at this moment, so this is the bonus lesson for you. ME, the mechanical energy is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy. P is equal also to mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity and the height. Ke, which is the kinetic energy, is equal to one half mv squared. And please take note of the formula P, which uh, represent power, is equal to work done over time. Okay, thank you so much and God bless.